Newton's formula for velocity of sound in gases. From purely theoretical considerations, Newton gave an empirical relation to calculate the velocity of sound in a gas. Nu equals to square root of b by rho, where b is bulk modulus and rho is density of the gas. Sound travels through a gas in the form of compressions and rarefactions. Newton assumed that the changes in pressure and volume of a gas when sound waves are propagated through it are isothermal. The amount of heat produced during compression is lost to the surroundings and similarly the amount of heat lost during rarefaction is gained from the surroundings. So as to keep the temperature constant using coefficient of isothermal elasticity that is bi Newton's formula becomes nu equals to bi by rho calculation of bi consider a certain mass of the gas let p equals to initial pressure of the gas v equals to initial volume of the gas under isothermal conditions PV equals to constant differentiating both sides we get PDV plus VDP equals to zero PDV equals to minus VDP P equals to minus VDP by DV equals to minus DP by DV by V equals to bi. Substituting this value we obtain nu equals to square root of p by rho. Error in Newton's formula. Let us use Newton's formula to calculate the velocity of sound in air at NTP as p equals to hdg and h equals to 0 0.76 m of hg column d equals to 13.6 into 10 power 3 kg per meter cube g equals to 9.8 meter per second square therefore p equals to 0 0.76 into 13.6 into 10 cube into 9.8 newton per meter square density of air p equals to 1.293 kg per meter cube from 38 nu equals to square root of p by rho equals to square root of 0 0.76 into 13.6 into 103 into 9.8 by 1.293 equals to 280 meter per second. The experimental value of the velocity of sound in air at NTP is 332 ms power minus 1. Difference between the experimental and theoretical values of velocity of sound in air equals to 332 minus 280 equals to 52 meter per second. Percentage error equals to 52 by 332 into 100 equals to 15.7 percent nearer to 16 percent thus the values calculated on the basis of Newton's formula was less than the experimental value of velocity of sound in air by about 16 percent such a large error could not be taken as an experimental error. Newton put forward a number of arguments to explain the about discrepancy, but none of them was satisfactory.